Move scam Yo, me. Why did I get scammed by my favorite YouTuber? Why are you stealing money from your supporters? That doesn't make sense to me. KJ Smooth, your favorite YouTuber, and you're not under the age of 10. You might want to start questioning what you see on the internet just a little bit more. You must be gullible as hell because I could see exactly the type of person KJ was the first time I saw one of his videos. If you guys are curious to see the rest of that clip and hear about that situation, hang in there just a bit. We will talk about that at the end of the video. Now, obviously, you boys have already seen the title. You know who this video is about. And obviously, I don't like KJ Smooth. I think he's a fucking loser and I would love to say that shit to his face, but that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I believe that YouTubers that do this genuinely shouldn't be on this platform. And I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm upset that KJ Smooth is basically proving my point on anything I've said on him in the past couple of videos. I actually find it pretty fucking funny. Now, if you're a fan or a subscriber of KJ Smooth, you might already know what this video is about. You might be looking up videos on this because you're so upset about the situation and if you are one of those people drop a like on this video and share it to as many people as you can so that everybody that you know and everybody out there knows kj smooth is a scammer and he is a lame but for the people that don't already know what i'm talking about maybe you clicked on this video because you support me and if that's the case you're a fucking god but let me give you the quick rundown before i actually give you some proof about what i'm talking about almost exactly a month ago kj smooth obviously uploaded one of his fake prank videos and at the beginning of that video, he actually had a PS5 giveaway. And shout out to the dude that sent me this video idea in my emails, because honestly, this is not something that I picked up on in my other two videos. I had no idea about this, but unsurprisingly, there seems to have been something sketchy going on with that PS5 giveaway. So bear with me, boys. A lot of these clips are really fucking long. I didn't want to cut them up because then it looks like I'm trying to hide something, like I'm doing something sketchy. So I just left them bare, raw footage. So some of them are a little bit long, but here is one of the first clips we have of him talking about this PS5 giveaway. All right, guys, we're back with the reaching in the bag video. I don't want to make this intro too long. So look, this is all I'm going to say, guys. Last video did get taken down. Okay, last video got taken down, but we're not even going to be worried about that. You guys love this video to be exact. So we're going to be coming out aggressive today. But before this video starts, I do want to say I'm having a hard time picking the winner, but the PS5 giveaway is still live. Okay, you guys, this is the last video you can enter. I'm going to make the rules very simple. Just follow me on Instagram at KJ Smooth, okay? K-J-S-M-O-O-T-H-H. -H. Just follow me on the gram and show proof that you like this video, okay? It's, it's, it's like really hard for me to pick a winner, but this video, I'm going to pick a winner. Um, next video will be announced. So other than that, guys, yeah, today we are doing a reaching in the back prank. So at first glance, everything seems normal. He tells you how you can still enter the giveaway and says this is the last day you can enter and he'll be picking the giveaway winners in the next video. Now, obviously, we're going to go check out that next video and see what exactly happened with the giveaway winners. But one thing you need to look out for over here on YouTube when someone is doing a giveaway is when they want you to go to a separate platform like Twitter or Instagram and like or comment and show proof of you doing that. That is such a hard way to do a giveaway legit. I remember a couple of years ago, there were some YouTubers that would use a different service that would like prove to them that you did all the steps before it would even put you in the giveaway in the raffle for your name to be drawn. And that service would randomly draw names. And YouTubers were doing that because at the time, people doing what KJ Smooth is doing in this video was very common. Doing fake giveaways, trying to get subs, trying to get followers on other platforms, but they weren't actually being being held accountable because there's no way to prove that they're not sending this stuff out. And because of that, YouTubers that want to make sure their giveaways are legit will either again use a secondary platform to help them do that on YouTube, or they just won't do it on YouTube at all. They'll do it on Twitter. They'll do it on Instagram. They'll do it anywhere but YouTube because doing it from YouTube is hard. But let's go ahead and check out the next video where he claimed that the giveaway winners would be announced. What's up YouTube, we're back with another video today. In today's video, we're going to be flexing $150,000 in the hood prank today. Right now, we are not in the hood. We're in this place called Citrus Heights. It's where I always do my intro, but before this video starts to look, this is prop money. This is literally prop money. I know it, it looks super real, but if you're like far away, if I'm like, 
If I'm like flexing it in your face and like I'm far away, it looks real, I promise. I know it doesn't look like a lot, a lot, but this is 150,000 uh, in prop money. I literally got it off Amazon. So to the people that are gonna say, that's not 150K, it, it definitely is. But I'm gonna walk up to people and I'm just gonna like, you know, put it in their face, I'm gonna have it in my bag. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Uh, I mean, if they rob me, they're just gonna get a load of prop money. But uh, other than that, guys, I do have a free $750 on Cash App for you, man. Let me explain this to you guys real quick. You have to complete five deals in order to even get a hundred dollars but if you want the 750 you got to complete 20 deals that's literally how you get the 750 but if you just want an easy quick a hundred dollars literally all you have to do i'm gonna have pictures up here it's proof that you have to do the deals you literally just have to complete five deals in order to get a hundred dollars you can't just do it once you got to complete five deals in order to get a quick 100 but if you want the 750 you got to complete 20 deals all right the link will be in the description the qr code will be right there let me know what you guys end up getting on cash app if you did the five deals for 100 dollars or the 20 deals for 750 dollars it's literally free money for you guys i'm literally just trying to help you guys out other than that we are going to go straight into this video and uh Let's go flex this prop money, man. Come on. So I know what you boys are thinking, slacking, what the fuck? That clip was damn near two minutes long, and he didn't even say anything about a PS5. He's talking about a different giveaway. Exactly. That is exactly what I'm trying to get at. I'm sure there's at least a couple of people watching this video that thinks maybe I skipped the video with the PS5 giveaway. Here is a screenshot of his channel. The first clip that I showed you was the reaching in my bag prank, and then the second clip that I showed you is the I'll never do this again. Go ahead and click on them if you don't believe me those are the two clips i just showed you not only did he flat out just ignore the ps5 giveaway he had the audacity to put a new giveaway in this video and again that shit is fake it's like bro can't do anything legit in his life and no i didn't test out this giveaway all you really have to do is think about it and realize that it's not real let's say for example 50,000 people did the giveaway only 50,000 people out of the like 300,000 that watched it they would now have to give out five million dollars to random people because they clicked a few buttons on their phone and they watched kj smooth what a fucking joke no way in hell bro's whole life is a fake but honestly i don't think a legit company would want to do business with somebody who makes videos like this because they also know that they're fake but kj actually did say something about the ps5 in this video he just decided to keep it until the end of the video probably because he knows most people weren't still watching the video at that point but this is what he said at the end of this video all right guys well i was not expecting that type of ending i think i'm gonna just end it right there so um i don't i forgot to do the ps5 giveaway i swear to god the ps5 giveaway winner is it, it the winner will be announced next video i swear to god today just went completely left i was i was not expecting today to do that so um give you guys one more chance um, all you gotta do for the rules is follow me on Instagram and like this video show proof that you did that Literally just follow my Instagram and show proof that you like this video and that's literally it And that's literally it and you'll be entered for the ps5 giveaway. That's literally it guys. So um, Yeah, today was a little weird. So <sighs> Appreciate you guys and uh, can this video get 10,000 likes? I'm out of here not only did he not announce the giveaway winners, but he even had the audacity to ask for 10,000 likes. He literally wipes his ass with his fans all day and they take that shit. They eat that shit up. It's actually embarrassing. There really isn't anything more for me to say. Let's just go ahead and see if he actually says something about the PS5 in this next video. Another video and today I'm actually really excited to get today's video done. Today we are going to be doing an undercover police prank. Obviously a lot of pranksters and YouTubers have done this type of video but i'm gonna be making this a hundred million times better what we're gonna be doing guys today is look at look what i have on like literally look at my outfit if you guys have ever seen an undercover police you know they always look like goofy like you gotta look like you gotta blend in with the streets you feel me like you gotta blend in with the hood so i threw on some velo and some puma sweats some dirty puma sweats you know we got that mic on us two rings they're busting like i don't know I, they, they look good you know what i'm saying they sent me this box they sent me a bunch of stuff guys they sent me rings pendants silver chains gold chains they sent me this clean cross. You guys got to go copy some. Use code KJ20 for 20% off your first order. Link will be in the description. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys hit this like button. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes and leave a comment for the algorithm. I need at least 1,000 comments on this video. And uh, yeah, let's go bust some knocks. Come on.
And let's be honest, is anybody really surprised? He didn't say a damn thing about a PS5. I know earlier in the video I said I wasn't gonna cut any of the clips, but that clip was literally a three minute and 30 second intro. I had to cut that shit up, he was talking nonsense. I figured if you guys really don't believe me, you can just re-watch the intro on his actual video and see that he didn't say shit about a PS5. But you know what he did talk about? The fake ass dog shit jewelry that some company sent him. Bro is shameless about the fact that he's scamming his fans. Not only is he just ignoring the PS5 giveaway, but almost every single video has a different sponsorship that has nothing to do with the PS5. And then he even went on to ask for 10,000 likes and a thousand comments, even after ignoring the PS5 giveaway and doing a brand promotion in the same video. If you're a KJ Smooth fan, you must like being spit on because that's literally what he's doing to all of you. Now, originally I was going to show you guys some more clips of him not not talking about the PS5, but honestly, I think you guys get it. And if you really don't believe me at this point, you can go ahead and just look for yourself. But believe me, the only person that is lying in their videos is KJ. What's even crazier is at the end of his most recent video, another very painfully fake video where he's wearing these red boots. He actually says this at the end of the video, trying to look tough for his 10 year old fan base. Hey, today was actually a crazy video. I thought I almost got robbed. I got pulled up on, we gotta switch locations after this cause bro, I literally got threatened my DM that said bro I just seen you in them big red booths right over there and so and so, I'm not gonna say the location, and they said I'm finna come up, we finna come over there and beat you, so, if you sending me, if you sending me threats bro, you lame, you a goofy, I got security for sure bro, don't even trip, we totally believe you. People definitely care enough about your fake ass pranks to threaten you in your DMs. I just find it so ironic that bro's actually gonna mention his DMs when he was supposed to be giving away a PS5 in those DMs. I've seen your Instagram comments, the only reason people follow you on that platform is for your fake ass giveaways. Literally every single comment on your Instagram is asking you for something. So I know for a fact those DMs look exactly the same. I swear boys, I can't make this shit up. Bro is actually a snake. So I was gonna show you boys a comment on his Instagram. It had like 60 something likes. It was easily the most liked comment on any of his Instagram posts asking about the PS5 giveaway. And I guess I forgot to screenshot it. I swear I screenshotted it. That shit is gone. Like I'm not fucking joking. Bro deleted the comment. I am not making this up. I swear to God. Bro fucking deleted the comment. Thankfully, I've got a bunch of comments from YouTube, I just find it actually hilarious that he's clearly trying to hide the fact that he never did the PS5 giveaway. So I'm just going to throw these comments up on the screen. Feel free to pause the video and read them if you want, but most of them are just asking about the PS5 giveaway. So as you can see, all the comments say, what about the PS5? Who won the PS5? And then this guy says, where's my PS5, bro? And someone responds and says, viewers got lied to. This dude swore to God in the outro of I'll never do this again video and there have been two new videos posted and no PS5 giveaway. You can't trust someone that swears to God and then lies. This dude cannot be trusted. Which is exactly what I've been saying since the first KJ Smooth video I made over a year ago. Go ahead and give me my fucking flowers right now because I was right. I know I said I wasn't gonna read any more comments in this video, but unless KJ responds to this video, this is probably gonna be my last KJ Smooth video. So I'm laying it all out right here in this video, I'm not leaving anything out. So don't get mad at me because your attention span is dog shit and you can't go 45 seconds without scrolling on TikTok. So here's a bunch of comments calling out that fake ass $750 cash app thing that he was doing. Stop with the fake cash app scam, bruh. Why you scamming through affiliate marketing links and fake scripted ass videos? Pretty sure that's a scam, bruh. This guy has no shame. And they just continue from there. This comment says, bro really scanned me out of a $30 shirt. Don't buy his merch. He been giving me the runaround for three fucking months now. So now we have three possible different scams. The cash app scam, the PS5 scam, and now someone claiming that he's not even sending out their merch that they paid for. I would understand if you could explain one of these, but the fact that there is so many, that alone should be enough proof that this dude is doing something sketchy. If you've made it this far in the video and you still choose to support KJ Smooth, honestly, 
you deserve to get scammed because the reason this continues to happen is because people continue to watch him. And this leads me perfectly into the last scam that we know KJ Smooth has been doing. I wanted to talk about the PS5 one first because that's the most relevant and the one that has affected the most people. I only know of one example of him doing this, but I could only guarantee that he's done this multiple times and either the people just didn't come out about it or the videos didn't get enough views for it to really matter. Or for enough people to see the video, I should say, because it obviously matters. By the way, if you've made it this far in the video, I appreciate the hell out of you. Doing YouTube full time is my dream. So to you, my video is just another one of the many videos you've watched today, but you watching my video and watching through the whole thing and supporting means the absolute world to me. So thank you. And here is the clip of these people explaining how KJ Smooth actually scammed them. Why did I get scammed by my favorite YouTuber? Why are you stealing money from your supporters? That doesn't make sense to me. I had just posted this, but it got taken down because I swore, so I'm recording it again. But basically, KJ Smooth had posted on his story that he was going to be doing promotions. So I slid up, not thinking he'd reply, asking how much. He said $100. I was hyped. Right away, got his cash app, sent the money. I was not waiting. Me and my little boo are trying to start a clothing brand. So I wanted the promotion. You feel me? All right. So he confirmed he got the payment. Y'all can pause to read the next few screenshots. I showed him my hoodie. He was hyping that shit up. And I was hyped because, like, that's my favorite YouTuber. And he likes, like, he's fucking with what I got. But then he didn't post it. But I'd said before that my website wasn't up yet. So I was like, all right, maybe he's just waiting for the website to come up. You feel me? So I texted him on Monday. Mind you, the first, the texts from before were from Thursday. So this was days later and like, just let him know like, hey, I have the website up. You can post this shit now. You feel me? And so he asked if I want both the link and my ad. I said, yeah. Sent him the link and everything to post it. And then he doesn't. So I texted him. I said, KJ. You're playing with me because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you, you didn't post it. And so then he told me that he'll have it up first thing the next morning. I said, all right, I just want to make sure you weren't playing with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, fast forward to the next morning. I wake up. It's not there. I give him some time. Four o'clock in the afternoon comes around. It's not up. I say, yo no reply seven o'clock at night all right bro you're playing with me i said i'm gonna whoop your ass because where the fuck is my post at so i request a refund even though i know i know this man is not about to give me a refund but i just i have my hopes he declines the refund i, I already knew that was gonna happen though all right, part, part two, y'all. All right, boys, so I know that shit was long. I figured I would just let her explain it since she clearly has proof, screenshots, messages, all of that stuff. But long story short, KJ Smooth was paying people to do promo on his Instagram because he has a lot of followers. And this person sent him $100 for a 24 hour promotion. But when the time came down for the promotion to be up, KJ Smooth never did anything. And the girl continued to ask him to do it and he kept saying, yeah, yeah, tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, yeah, the next day, before he finally just ignored her, never did it, and never gave her the money back. And if you think about it, this is a really similar situation with what he's doing with the PS5. He keeps telling you guys, yeah, next video, next video, he keeps pushing it back, and then eventually he just stopped talking about it. Now, I know this girl said there was gonna be a part two, but her boyfriend actually ended up making a video showing that all the parts got taken down besides the first part. Here is a screenshot of the video showing all the other videos with the community guideline strikes so obviously they did make a part two but we never got to see that but if you ask me i don't really think we need to see a part two it's very clear that kj smooth took this hundred dollars and never put up the promotion which is so crazy because that is so easy to do it's way harder to send out a ps5 to somebody but it's really easy to throw up something on your instagram story for 24 hours for a quick hundred dollars and i know a hundred dollars doesn't seem like a lot but for a broke college student which these people are they admitted it in their 
videos, that shit is a lot of fucking money. A hundred dollars can be a lot of money for some people. And if you think about it, if KJ Smooth does this to 10 people, he just made a thousand dollars off scamming 10 people on a fake promotion. KJ Smooth is obviously a liar and a scammer. And if you continue to support him knowing that, you're not only setting yourself up to get scammed in the future, but other people as well that don't know KJ Smooth is a scammer. Not only that, but other YouTubers, people that only want to do this for the money are going to see that and they're going to start doing it as well. There are plenty of YouTubers out here that don't want to scam their fans. So why support the ones that do? With all of that being said though, boys, that right there is where I'm going to end the video. I swear I didn't plan on this being a 20 minute long video. As usual, drop a like on the video, comment down in the comment section. It'll help the video a ton getting shown to more and more people. Thank you boys so much for supporting me. I appreciate it so much. The last couple of months have been insane on the channel and I really appreciate it and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. Definitely subscribe if you're new and I will see you boys in the next one.